but I've seen it. <laughs> and I, I'm okay. not too keen on what... But this one, we're talking about plastics. Uh, they play a, a huge role in what we do, but they also have a negative effect. Uh, this morning, Portia Gabo has been going around uh, finding out the effect of plastics on marine life. It is an undeniable fact that most Ghanaians prefer to drink water from packages made of plastic, but where do the used sachet water packages and plastic bottles end up after usage? Tons of plastic waste end up on the shorelines of Ghana's beaches daily. According to the United Nations Environment Programme, more than 8 million tons of plastic end up in the oceans each year, wrecking havoc on marine wildlife, fisheries and tourism. Plastic waste menace in this country would simply not go away. Here at Teshi Sanguena, it looks as if this place is the final resting place of most plastics that we consume. Instead of tourists coming here to enjoy the scenery, they are confronted and greeted with this. <laughs> Estimates by the UN suggest oceans will carry more plastic than fish by 2050 and an estimated 99% of seabirds would have ingested plastic. The fishermen here at Teshi Sanguena are worried. When we go fishing, we catch more plastic waste than fish. We need waste collectors here. When it rains, some residents dump their refuse into the ocean, but the refuse rolls back onto the shoreline. Figures from the United Nations Environment Programme show 79% of the world's plastic waste is accumulating in landfills or slurring off in the natural environment as litter. If present trends continue, there will be 12 billion metric tons of plastic in landfills by 2050. Statistics from the Accra Metropolitan Assembly indicate that out of the over 2,500 tons of waste generated daily, only 1,125 tons, representing 45%, is collected. The remaining 55%, mainly plastics, remain mostly at landfill sites without recourse to recycling. Unfortunately, plastics here may take thousands of years to decompose. It is actually a menace because though in volume or the weight is not much, but because of it is very light, it spreads easily and then it finds its way on our beachfront and causing a whole lot of mess. At the Thorn landfill site, some waste collectors capitalize on the availability of plastic waste to earn a living. After sorting the plastic from the, the waste, we have those who came close to us and they buy it from us. How much money do you make? At least 30 cities a day. Kenya joined countries such as Rwanda, China and France in banning plastic bags. Would a ban be the solution to the plastic waste menace in Ghana? That's why I can't believe because benefit from it. Because most of us do not get any job. So these things help us a lot to get up our families. What we need to do is rather to find the right technology to take care of the processing of this plastic waste. For waste collectors here, a ban would deprive them of their livelihood, but will these outweigh the dangers and risk posed to the environment?
Protecting the environment from plastic waste is important if Ghana wants to achieve all the targets set in the Sustainable Development Goals. In fact, the Sustainable Development Goals cannot be met unless waste management is addressed as a priority in Ghana. According to Waste Aid UK, in order to achieve the SDG Goal 1 on poverty, plastic waste should be managed as jobs can be created in waste collection and recycling to take people out of poverty. Managing plastic waste would also mean achieving the SDG Goal 2 on zero hunger as this would lead to reduced food waste and more use of organic waste. As women often bear the brunt of bad waste management, Managing plastic waste would help in the achievement of the SDG Goal 5 on gender equality as women could be employed in recycling of plastic waste. Achieving the SDG Goal 6 on clean water and sanitation largely depends on managing plastic waste. When plastic waste is controlled, it will lead to the attainment of the SDG Goal 14 as there will be less plastic pollution in the oceans and sea life. The quest to find out how plastics can be utilized in an effective way led me to Trashy Bags, an eco-friendly business, has found a way to prove that there is life after death for plastic waste. When sachet water bags, ice cream wrappers and materials from billboard advertisement are taken off the streets of Accra, they are dumped here for a fee. Approximately 180,000 sachets are collected and processed every month. Before the sachets can be sewn together to form the final product, they must be sorted out, cut open, thoroughly washed, dried and straightened. Once the sachet sheets are prepared, templates are used to draw the shapes for future products and the basic outlines are cut out. Sheets prepared in this way are then handed to the workers who sew them together according to a predefined procedure. Plastics are not meant to be discarded. They are meant to be used over and over again. So next time you take that sachet water, you may not want to throw it away because you may get a bag out of trash. Plastic uh, waste in the country is becoming an alarming uh, problem and uh, we are all aware about that. Uh, the repercussions are very huge. Uh, as well, we know that it's a very useful packaging uh, material. So what we've done for close to a decade now is uh, identifying the problems at the same time also finding practical solutions. The smart bags, all made from water sachets and local fabric, can hold up to 18 kilograms. With Kenya joining countries such as China and Rwanda in banning plastic bags, will it be the solution to the plastic waste menace in Ghana? Project director at Trashy Bags says Ghana should rather invest in recycling plastic waste. Banning plastic completely is one of the solutions, but if you consider all the the different support that we had with this kind of material in terms of packaging. I think that we have to intensify recycling, support industries that are into recycling, and then the awareness creation is also very important because we've realized that it's not just uh, people not wanting to recycle, but it's also because uh, people don't understand this kind of material that it can take thousands and thousands of years to biodegrade. Make sure send your pure water. Ah, ya bo bo na dia ba ma ya to. Ah, mi nso so. Na me so me pa ma dia wo fie. But adwuma ne nkoso a me ba hanam ne. En na me so adwuma we sent no. Bo so me so e timi tua me ka. E ma me so nya bi ekoko bo a mabusua fo. By making useful and attractive bags and other products directly from the sachets, trashy bags have demonstrated that plastic waste can still be useful long after it has outlived its original purpose. Ghana needs to realize that achieving all the sustainable development goals by 2030 hinges on managing plastic waste. Poshigabo, TV3.